Vulcan trial compared to Vestrant 500, a new pure anti-estrogen, versus the uh, third generation aromatase inhibitor, anastrozole. And the main findings of the trial, which were actually presented initially in ESMO a month ago, two months ago, and published actually in The Lancet just last week, um, were that the Fulvestrant 500 is a more efficacious drug. It will, I think, become the new standard of care. It shows a 20% reduction in the progression free survival um, on the 20% improvement on the progression free survival of fulvestrant versus anastrozole and I think that confirms the previous studies that we've seen of the same drug. So I think it very clear this drug is now the most efficacious drug. It's unique in the sense that it is the only endocrine therapy that we've seen a time to progression and a survival benefit in the first and second line setting and the Falcon trial conf confirms this. I think the second implication of it is um, that it should really, as the, as the most efficacious drug, become the backbone of endocrine therapy when you're doing combination treatments, I think, too. So I think that's the implications for the, the, the wider implications and the results of the study. What we've been reporting here is a particular subgroup analysis to look and see in the various subgroups are there particular subgroups that seem to benefit more or less. And there was one particular subgroup, which was those with visceral and non-visceral disease. And the patients with non-visceral disease, um, the hazard ratio there was about 0.59. In other words, there was over a 40% improvement in the time to progression. Uh, and when you looked at that in terms of time, that was a median time of 23 months to progression, which is very similar, actually, to what you see with the combination treatments of letrozole and publocyclob in the first line setting. And so the, the poster really discussed whether that was a, you know, a finding that we could regard as being um, definite.